Hello guys, welcome back to Medicores. So this is the second video on the PYQ marathon series which I am conducting in my channel. So this today's subject is about biochemistry and this video is about the NEET PG 2024 PYQs of biochemistry. A 26 year old male with colicky pain and following crystals in urine as in the image, which of the following is the diagnosis? Answer is cystinuria and a brief explanation. Cystinuria is characterized by the presence of hexagonal cysteine crystals in the urine, often causing colicky pain due to stone formation. So guys, I'll be discussing about 2024 in this video and the remaining years I'll be discussing in my next video because biochemistry questions are quite large in number and it's not possible to do it in one video itself. So moving on to the second question, a patient presents with symptoms of dermatitis, dementia and cognitive decline, which micronutrient deficiency is most likely responsible? Answer is niacin deficiency. So this is again a repeat question which keeps up coming in many years. And third, a farmer is on maize-based diet and develops skin rashes on the neck, face and hand. Which of the following should be given? Answer again niacin, again a repeat question. And next one, which micronutrient deficiency causes anemia, bleeding gums and the white line of Frenkel on x-ray? Answer vitamin C. Which of the following is deficient in a patient with phenylketonuria with normal phenylalanine hydroxylase levels? Answer is dihydrobiopterin reductase. So in atypical phenylketonuria, dihydrobiopterin reductase deficiency impairs the, conversion, impairs the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine. So this is a brief explanation, guys. You need to uh, elaborate upon and find out about the PYTs and read more about them. Next is a five-year-old girl was washing her doll with shampoo containing rotenone and then her mother noticed her in an unconscious state. What is inhibited? Answer is NADH hydrogenase, dehydrogenase. So biochemistry, most of the enzyme topics, you need to have uh, more idea. You need to go through the PYTs about this topics uh, for better explanation because these uh, can come up as potential questions later on. Next, a patient is treated with phenobarbiton and what is inhibited? Answer is complex 1. Next, a patient presents with an x-ray showing cardiomegaly along with symptoms of hypotonia, microglosia and hepatomegaly and floppy baby syndrome. What is the most likely diagnosis? So, floppy baby syndrome is associated with Pompey's disease. Again, to have a better idea about this, you need to go through the glycogen storage disorders. There's a chart and please through go, uh, go through that. And also there is again uh, a chart on mucopolysaccharidosis, etc. Go through that. Next, which of the following are methanol poisoning derivatives? Answer is formic acid and lactic acid. Next question, interpret the ABG report, pH is equal to 7.21, PC to O2 is equal to 16, bicarbonate 6.3 and sodium 127 and chloride 101.7. So answer is metabolic acidosis with partial compensation with high anion gap. Next one, a patient with high triglyceride level as terrified with LCFA, presence with fatigue and biopsy of muscle shows fat vacuoles. What is the diagnosis? Answer is carnitine deficiency. Next, a patient with samptoma on Achilles tendon. What is the diagnosis? Again, guys, these lipid metabolism disorders, you need to have an idea and please go through the chart on this. And the explanation provided here is brief uh, because this um, video session which I have made is for last minute remission because you cannot miss out on the PYQs and the PYTs. So I have just given a brief idea about this, but you need to uh, read more about the PYTs of these topics from further good sources so that you will have a clear idea about it. If you miss out on the PYQs or PYTs, then you are out of the game, out of the competition, guys. You cannot miss on them because uh, if you miss them, you won't be uh, getting your dream branch. Next one, source of vitamin B1 is thymine. So uh, thymine and the source is rice. Next one, a patient came to emergency room with severe pain in the abdomen. Serum triglyceride level was 1500 and what is the effect? Answer is APO C2 deficiency. And next one, a patient with multiple tendon santomas. Serum cholesterol level is 398 and LDL is 220. And what is the effect? Answer is LDL receptor defect. Uh, which causes the familial hypercholesterolemia. Next one, a 13-year-old boy reported with jaundice, fatigue, muscle stiffness, tremors and behavioral changes. And on examination, there is enlarged liver and spleen and KF rings was also noted. Diagnosis is hepatic parenchymal copper concentration because in Wilson's disease, uh, confirmation is by the hepatic copper levels. Next, a patient's relative sent a message on social media to the consulting doctor and he is unaware of other investigations mentioned. Uh, but it is mentioned that urine coproporphyrin is positive. 
So what is the most probable cause? Answer is lead poisoning. Next, a new need was brought to the hospital with poor feeding, vomiting, and acidosis and cataract. Again, you need to have an idea about uh, galactosemia and uh, about the glucose uh, metabolism, glycogen uh, metabolism, all of these you need to have an idea, guys, lactose metabolism. And uh, so galactose 1-phosphate urethyl transferase is the defective enzyme here. Next, a patient with history of binge alcohol intake presented with convulsions, altered sensorium and plasma glucose level of 45 mg per deciliter. What is the treatment needed? Answer is thymine followed by dextrose. Next, a mother came to OPD with 14-year-old mentally retarded boy complaining of joint pain and an irresistible urge to bite his fingers and lips. The serum uric acid level is elevated. What is the disorder? Answer is lesh nyhan syndrome. Next question, skin rash which gets exaggerated on sun exposure. The repair mechanism involved in the above condition is nucleotide excision repair. Next question, a 45-year-old patient presents with joint pain and weakness. Well, the patient is a known case of homocystinuria. Which vitamin is required? Answer is vitamin B6. Next one, given below is uh, diagrammatic representation, so I couldn't add up the diagram, guys. It's of an obese uh, child and he has a karyotype. Uh, what will be the karyotype in that case? So answer is Prada villi because of uh, deletion of chromosome 15 of the paternal side. Next, a patient who, ha who has always neglected his nutrition, presented with follicular hyperkeratosis on the exp extensor aspect of forearm, diagnosis is Phrynoderma because of Vitamin A deficiency. Vitamins are something which keeps repeating up in exams. So you need to have an idea about the deficiencies and about the uh, deficiency features, symptoms, everything, guys, and about the uh, defect, enzyme defect, etc. And next, a uh, diabetic patient comes to OPD and the physician advised exercise. Which glucose transporter is insulin sensitive? This again is a favorite question. GLUT4, as you know when, from your MBBS time itself, GLUT4 has has this much importance because it is insulin sensitive and keeps repeating up in EPG as well. A patient with anemia, neutropenia and hypopigmentation of skin and hair, which micronutrient deficiency causes? Answer is copper deficiency. Next, a patient came with severe abdominal pain and elevated lipase. On examination, a stone is found in the common bile duct. Which enzyme deficiency is elevated here? Answer is GGT because GGT is elevated in biliary obstruction such as from a CBD stone. Next, a child presented with windswept wind deformity of legs. So as you hear windswept deformity itself, you can understand that it is something related to rickets. Next, biochemical investigation shows that PTH is normal, calcium is normal, phosphate is low, and ALP is raised. Again, there is a chart uh, in most of the platforms. You can get this chart and uh, which uh, tells you about the differences in osteoporosis and about hypophosphatemic rickets and about the normal rickets, etc. What will be the levels in PTH, calcium, phosphate and ALP? How will it be affected? Uh, please go through that. It is a PYT and keeps repeating every year. And next is methotrexate use causes reduced synthesis of answers, TMP, that is thymidine synthesis. Next, identify the type of inhibition. Again, this graph is something very important. Uh, one simple trick is that if at all a cross comes, it is competitive. And if it's not a cross, it is non-competitive. So other than that, you need to have a basic knowledge about, uh, about these graphs because uh, there are two types of graphs. So you need to have an idea about how this is derived and things. Please go through the explanation about that. It is again a PYT and which keeps repeating. Next, a patient underwent gastrectomy, which in deficiency can occur. Answer is vitamin B12 deficiency because gastrectomy leads to the loss of intrinsic factor because intrinsic uh, factor is produced from the stomach. Next, causing vitamin B12 deficiency. So that's it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if at all you need uh, me to continue with the series, please do mention it in the comment box. Do support my videos. Till I come back with my new videos. Stay tuned. Till then, bye.